Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Video Editor Studio and today I'm going to show you how to do that text write on outline effect in DaVinci Resolve. Let's check it out. All right, so in DaVinci Resolve right now on the edit page and I'm going to try to create a text outline effect. This is something that has been requested by Jason, one of our viewers, and so I tried to figure it out how to do that and I think I found uh, a way. It might not be the best way, but that's how I will do it. Please let us know in the comment what kind of video you would like to see next and if we know how to do the effect, we're going to try to make a video about it. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So here we're on the edit page, we're going to go over to effect and we're going to bring a new fusion composition in our timeline. Now that it's done, we're going to go over to fusion and here I'm just going to close these tabs. Now we're going to bring a text node in our working area. I'm going to bring it to the viewer and here we're going to write DaVinci and I'm gonna change the font for Montserrat. Now I'm just gonna raise the size a little bit, like so. Now for the outline, usually we will go over to shading and create the outline right here. Now, uh, because I'm gonna want to animate that outline, we're gonna use another technique. We're gonna use uh, instance node. So I'm gonna select my first text node. I'm gonna hit Command C to copy it. And here I'm gonna right click on the working area. I'm gonna just paste instance. It basically create a copy of that text uh, with all the property gonna remain the same. I have a more in-depth video about instance node. You can check it in the description below. So I'm doing this so I can independently uh, make modification to the fill of the text and the outline of the text. So now here we're gonna go to instance text. I'm gonna go over to shading and here I'm gonna de-instance all the colors cause I'm gonna make it black. So here I'm gonna right click on red for example and here go down to the instance color groups and i'm going to change it to black i'm going to merge those two together so we can actually see what we're doing and i'm going to bring that to the viewer right here all right so now we can go back to instance text uh, we're going to just click on appearance and we're going to de-instance it so now when we go over to text we can just switch the appearance from fill to outline and right here we've created, as you can see, if I bring the viewer here to text one, we have text one being an outline and we have instance text being a fill. So now I'm just gonna go back to bring the merge viewer here so we can see what we're doing. And now that we got those two, we can start to animate the outline. To do that here, we're gonna select text one and then we're gonna hit shift space to bring the select tool. And here we're gonna search for mask paint. And it's just gonna bring a mask over the text one and that's how we're gonna animate the outline uh, coming into play uh, being right on over the text so right now we're just gonna select mask paint one as you can see it has disappeared so we need to bring it back uh, by going here over to mask it inverts so now we can sit properly now we're gonna switch tool and we're gonna use the polyline stroke now that it's selected we're basically gonna go all around the outline and we're gonna trace uh, those outlines so we can then animate them with a right on effect right down there. So let's start it. So you can zoom into uh, your viewer to be a bit more precise. So here I'm gonna zoom a little bit so I can see a bit more what I'm doing and we're gonna just trace those outlines. So I'm gonna have one point here then another point here. So now I'm just gonna continue the tracing. We're gonna speed up the process cause I don't want to bother you with it. Uh, but basically here, try to be uh, fairly precise. You know, you don't need to be very, very precise and everything doesn't need to be masked right away uh, cause we're gonna refine that after. Uh, but just try to be uh, as precise as possible. So here I've traced one letter. You don't want to close the loop right here. We're just gonna continue uh, to trace. So here I just go as close as possible to this one without closing the loop. And and then you can just go down and continue to mask your letters. Now that I'm done with this one, I'm just gonna go over there and continue the tracing uh, with the A. So here with the C is a bit tricky because I don't have a straight line right away. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just click outside of it. And here I'm just gonna start right there. And now we're done with the tracing. So we basically mask the complete outline. And now we'll be able to basically animate it here with a right on. So 
by just using that, we're gonna write on the outline. So here in case, you know, that you still got some white on the edges, everything doesn't look super clean. Like here, there is a bit of white, for example, we're just gonna adjust the brush control. So here we're gonna go and click to brush. And instead of having something that is uh, fading like that, that got a bunch of softness, we're just gonna click on circular. Uh, so we have basically now a solid and not something that's soft. And then you can adjust the size of your mask. So as you can see here, if I reduce the mask, we uh, have everything traced, but the mask is actually not covering any of the outline. And the more we raise the size of that mask, the more we start to cover up the uh, white area. So you want to make sure that everything is covered up properly. If you have anything uh, that is white, you know, you want to get rid of that. Uh, don't go too much, otherwise that's gonna uh, mess up your animation after. Uh, but just go until the point that you don't see any white anymore. All right, now that we've done that, I'm just gonna uh, bring my uh, viewer to fit so I can see everything. And now we're gonna be able to start uh, creating animation. So here, if I click again in Mask Paint, I go over to Control. So now, as you can see, if I try to do a right on, it's gonna do it in reverse. So we're gonna just go back to Mask and we're gonna hit Invert. And now we'll be able to just uh, write it on properly from the beginning to the end. All right, so now that we have everything we need prepared, we're gonna start with the animation. So here I'm gonna uh, put the outline animation between the frame 15 to 35, and then I'm gonna put some animation on the fill between the frame zero to uh, 15. So right now I'm gonna go to frame 35, I'm gonna make sure that I have mask paint selected. And here, right on, I'm gonna make sure that uh, it's to one right here. I'm gonna add one keyframe. Then we're gonna go down to frame 15 and I'm gonna bring that right on down to zero. So now already, if we play it, as you can see, we have the outline animation coming into place. Now I'm just gonna select instance text one. And here we're gonna add a keyframe at frame. 15, we're gonna do size and opacity. To do that though, as you can see here, it's in green, so it's still instance. So that's gonna affect the entire thing. Right now, I just wanted to uh, affect the fill. So we're just gonna instance it by right clicking on it, the instance, and then we're gonna go over to layout and do the same with size here, right click on it and the instance. So now frame 15, size one, I'm gonna add one keyframe. I'm gonna go down to zero, and here I'm gonna bring that to 1.2 to have an, an overscale animation. And then I'm gonna go back to shading. Here, I'm gonna go back to frame 15. I'm gonna put one keyframe on opacity at one, and then I'm gonna put one keyframe here down to opacity zero. And so we have simple opacity and size animation and then it's gonna follow up with outline. Now I'm gonna smooth all that here by going over to the spline editor. I'm gonna select all the boxes to bring all the points we've created. Let's right click on that so you can have all your point here in one spot. I'm gonna reduce the inspector right here. So here actually I don't want the mask paint because I don't think I need to smooth it out. Uh, it's good like that. I'm fine with animation uh, looking like that. I think it might be a bit odd if that's too smooth. So I'm gonna just unselect that and we're just gonna smooth out the animation with the size and opacity. So I'm gonna just bring all my point select everything then on my keyboard i'm gonna hit the letter s to smooth it out then hit the letter t to bring the easy in and ease out and i'm gonna bring the easy in up to 85. so about that perfect and i think i'm pretty happy with that now let's play it to see how it looks and here we go we got or simple text animation and then the outline coming into play. You can obviously play with the timing to create different effects and uh, to have it play differently. You can also play with the mask to have different kind of reveal. You don't have to do it the way I've done it. Uh, you could uh, do something a bit more rough, you know, it doesn't have to be uh, as precise. Just play with it, see what works for you. All right, and that's pretty much it. Let me know in the comment what kind of video you would like to see next. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next one. Bye. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition, and templates, but only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack containing a compilation of 20 titles curated from our library. Link in the description below or at videodigitalstudio.com.